Welcome to Archetypal Atrocities, the show where we play bottom of the barrel Yu-Gi-Oh archetypes. Each week, Jules and myself will spin a wheel to determine what archetype we will be playing for that week. In addition, we will open three specially curated packs and pick a card from each of those packs to use in the deck for that week. We are allowed to play staples, but only if they support the archetype we get, and we can only play one copy of them in our decks. The winner of each week will get an extra pack they open for the next episode, while the loser will get to spin a loser wheel with multiple results on it, such as choosing your opponent's deck or moving an archetype from your wheel. The loser will also be able to play two copies of a staple as opposed to just one. Now that that's out of the way, let's dig into some trash. Well, we ran hot, but we couldn't win the mirror match. And you know what? I'm happy to lose in a mirror match. That was a lot of fun. I really cannot complain. But since we are the loser, we do get access to the loser wheel for the first time in quite a while. So let's see how things pan out. And we're adding an archetype back to the wheel. Very interesting. In that case... Hmm... Yeah, no, there's really no reason to think about this. We're putting Dark Scorpions back on. And we're gonna keep putting it back on. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure we add the Dark Scorpions to the wheel the week after I spin it. I'm not sure, maybe I'm misremembering. And Dark Scorpion should be on here, but it will be on there next week. As for this week, let's see just what I'm having to deal with today, because... Oh lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's time to um, play the lesser of the Truesdale Boys decks. <laughs> Oh, it feels so, so good to not be back on the loser wheel for another week. It feels so good to be back to spin in the regular old wheel. Hopefully you get a good archetype. We won this your send you mats, your send you format, sweep in the nation. One of the best formats, potentially of all time, dare I say. But let's not waste any more time and see what this week will bring. Will it be another mirror match? Probably not, but let's see. Slowing down, and it looks like... Ooh! I actually almost used too much tune for one of my episodes, so I will not complain about picking up tune. I, I like it. We're gonna need all the help we can get, so let's just get right into these packs. And, uh, well, we have Creature Swap, we have Tribute to the Doom, we have cards to take, and uh, well, we're going to need them. So, it's probably gonna be the Creature Swap, might be the Needle Wall, but with Roids being as terrible as they are, I might just need to bank on trading it out for something better that Johnny might have. So, next pack, and Monster Reborn. Yeah, we're, we'll play two of those. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's Reborn, for sure. Uh, third pack, let's go. Uh, if we can make... If we have level fours, I'm pretty sure we have level fours. It's probably going to be honor arc because we need something to go into. God damn it! <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see what our first pack cards are with the tune and the part of desires. That's definitely a solid pickup. I won't complain about that. Forbidden Chalice might also even be good because we can just get in for some nice damage. Actually, I think it's one of the boost damage. Yeah, it gains attack but makes effect negated. Summon Dice is also not the worst thing, honestly. I'm just, we've actually got like a very small amount of Summon Dice. I don't think I've ever actually opened one, so that's pretty interesting. And on to our second pack. It looks like we're Moon Mirror Sealed. I definitely won't complain about a Moon Mirror Sealed. Actually, for uh, Tunes, it's probably actually really good. Dose Tornado is also not the worst. Head Jutting is decent. Smashing Ground, of course. Actually, a pretty decent selection of options. I won't complain. The third pack, but not our final pack, because we actually won. We get it open for... Uh, Compulse is definitely very, very good. Also, another Smashing Ground. Cosmic could be good. We probably play the Compulse, though. Compulse is just a very good tempo card, especially in a slow format like this. We probably, I am happy to pick it up. Double Super Rare. We're getting a lot of high rarity cards in these packs. It's, it's interesting. And for our last and final pack, another high rarity card. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. We've never gotten good luck like this. Oh my god, Access Code Talker? I don't think we'll ever be able to make Access Code Talker. That's just a funny card to have. Frankly, I don't know what we get. Well, you honestly might just pick up Magician of Faith. Maybe we have Cosmic Cyclone, because then we can run Compulse and have back over move. We'll see. But honestly, pretty solid packs, all things considered. Let's go ahead and make some tunes. This is pretty terrible, but I'm also kind of here for it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's Vehicroids, baby. It's uh, I sure hope I can Fusion Summon. That's all I can say. 
the, the funny part about Vehicroids is that you need to run all of these one-ofs and two-ofs because some of your fusions require very specific names, and this is Archetype Atrocities. We can't King of the Swamp here. Come on. So, yeah, we, we've got our work cut out for us for sure. I don't think our main deck can really do anything besides, like, maybe I'll get an Armoroid out. <laughs> uh, but, you know... The main deck isn't really the focus here. We have a full extra deck we can hopefully use. Uh, and a Merge Roid Call is a very silly card that I hope we can activate. It's probably like the best Roid card in the main deck. Maybe even just the best Roid card, period. It's pretty good. If you played Magic the Gathering, it's a counter trap that's also like a surgical extraction. Not only does it negate the effect, it will then send every copy of that card in the main or extra to the graveyard. It's not quite as good as a surgical extraction where it would banish everything, but still, in a format like this, if there's like a boss monster that has no recursion and I can emergeroid call it, that's that might be lights out. So we're we're not hopeful that we're going to win, but we have our ways to potentially steal a win. And I think, what more can you only ask for than potentially being able to steal a win with Viacroid? And here is the deck. No webcam, because I'm a little sick, hence the way my voice sounds, so it's going to do this pretty fast. We're playing one Magician of Faith, since students have a lot of good spell cards that are a lot of very powerful searches or special summons. This is a way to recycle them. Three Red Eyes Toon Dragon, which is a way pretty much to, once per turn, we can just special summon a Toon Monster from our hand, just ignoring its summoning conditions, we can bring out a bunch of the big guys. Two Toon, Lust, uh, Bla Two toon Black Lesser Soldier, excuse me, uh, where we can special summon it by tributing monsters whose levels are eight or more, so we can use some of our high level Toon Monsters to special summon it out onto the field. And once per turn, as long as we have Toon World, we can just target a card on the field and banish it. It can't attack that turn, but still a very good removal. Of course, the boy, the man, the myth, the legend, the cyber dragon. It is the Toon Cyber Dragon, so it's a little bit worse, but it's still a cyber dragon. We can special summon it as long as we control no monsters where the opponent has one, but it can't attack the turn it's summoned, but it can still attack directly when Toon Will is on the field, which almost all Toon Monsters have. The Toon Dark Magician, probably one of the best Toon Monsters that we can just once per turn, we can discard a Toon card, then special summon a Toon Monster from our deck, or add a Toon Spell Trap card from our deck to our hand. So very powerful consistency in a searcher. Toon Gemini Elf, one of the few special, uh, normal summons rather, with Toon Fields on the destroyed, it, we just have to lose it, but it can attack directly and when it inflicts battle damage, the opponent discards a random card. Toon Harpy Lady, one of the newer Toon Monsters that, uh, we can special summon it instead of normal summoning it, so it doesn't eat up all normal summon, and if we control another Toon Monster, it just pops a back row. And as all other Toons, it can attack directly as long as the opponent controls no Toon Monsters. Toon Mermaid, just another one that can, uh, be special summoned from our hand and not eating up a normal summon, and it's pretty much can attack the summon, but then we have to pay 500 attack with it, which kind of sucks, but it can attack directly, so it kind of gets around that. Three Cosmic Hand, this is just a free snatch steal as long as we have a Toon Monster, on a, a Toon World, rather, excuse me, and it's treated as a Toon Monster while we control it, and if your opponent controls new Toon Monsters, it has the effect to attack directly. One for Open Chalice, since we are able to attack directly, we can use this during the damage step, so Jules can't do anything about the damage modulation 90% of the time, and it's a way to deal a lot of damage very easily straight to the face. One smashing ground, just good old fast removal. Summon dice, you have to for the summon dice because it's a way to kind of help us special summon monsters from graveyard to hands and pitching stuff. So I play this over the part of the Zaya so we don't mana stuff like our Toon World, or rather Toon Kingdom, which we'll get to in a second. Toon Bookmark, just a very good card, it's a uh, Toon Kingdom Searcher, just adds any Toon World or a card that mentions it, which is pretty much almost the entire archetype. And if a Toon Monster would ever be destroyed by a card effect, we can mass this card to protect it instead. 3 Toon Kingdom, pretty much the retrained Toon World, which pretty much activated, bans top 3 cards with deck face down, not the biggest deal in the world. This card is Toon Kingdom in the field zone, and your opponent can't target Toon Monsters with card effects, and if a Toon Monster would be destroyed by a battle or card effect, we can banish the top card from our deck instead. 3 Toon Page Slip, another very good card, as long as we control Toon World, we can reveal 3 Toon Monsters different names from our deck, and the opponent has to randomly pick one, and that gets special summon, ignoring the summoning conditions. Since we have a lot of big dudes, like the Red Eyes Toon Dragon, the Dark Magician, the Luster Soldier, all that, we can special summon them out pretty nice and easily. 3 Toon Table of Contents, just a free searcher and a deck thinner, because this can search out other copies of Toon Table of Contents, so we can minus 4 cards out of our deck by just chaining Toon Table of Contents into Toon Table of Contents to add another card to our hand. 3 Toon Briefcase, pretty much a... Card that when a mon opponent summons a monster, it gets shuffled back into the deck as long as we control a Toon Monster, so it's a very powerful effect. It's a good way to kind of stall out extra deck plays. So if Jules is playing cards in the extra deck, it's very nice for us. And if she's not, we can always set it out. 
In the extra deck, we have a Mimic Hat, so if Jules is playing stuff with good cards in the opponent's graveyard, we can steal that and put up an R, so we can two Toon or any Toon Monster, we can target a card in the opponent's graveyard. Spell Trap, we can turn to our field, a monster we can spell summon to our field, so it's a monster reborn mixed with like a still on trap uh, steal, which is pretty nice. And a 3 Toon Tail, that uh, counter trap card, so if Jules has a lot of spell trap and monster effects, well, we have Toon World and a Toon Monster, we can make the other race and destroy it, so it's an army negate so long as you have a uh, Toon World and a Toon Monster. That is the deck. Uh, I'm excited to play it. We'll see what happens, and I'll see you in the duel. Here we are. It's episode 21 of Archetypal Atrocities. We can drink now. I am... <laughs> I am very excited for my deck. It's probably the deck I probably wanted to play the most that we have on the current wheel, so I was happy to get it and not have to use a, choose my own archetype for it, so I'm excited for this week. I have a deck, and <laughs> I am confident that either I am going to get my shit kicked in, or I'm going to do probably the coolest thing we've done in this series. I lean more towards the former, let's be real. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to pop off, but there, there's only two ways this could go. Either I'm going to lose terribly, or I'm going to pop off. <laughs> <laughs> a very exciting precursor, but even more exciting is the good old rock, paper, scissors. And uh, he's just too good. <laughs> the rock, paper, scissors, king. Uh, I see we're both playing over 40 cards, which is exciting already. My hand is, like, funny in, like, a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I don't know if you watch them, but there's this magic uh, player named Jim Davis, and he does this thing called the Hand of the Week, where he just puts posts his most, like, disgustingly out of context, like, confusing hands on yeah. Twitter. This this is a Jim Davis hand. <laughs> Set one, pass. All right. Uh, that's a funny card. It doesn't help me in this scenario, but it's very funny. We will immediately review what I'm playing because I can't not. So I'll activate the Tune bookmark. Oh lord, I'm up against tunes. This is <laughs> gonna be a clusterfuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <ooh. laughs> Very accurate for tunes. If this is all D and D, all messy as you as you claim. All right, so let's uh, tune kingdom it up. Uh huh. Uh, banish face down three. three. We're both on anime decks. <laughs> That's exciting. Different uh, series is though. I'm, <laughs> I'm a GX deck. Fascinating. <laughs> I don't even know what GX archetypes on there. I guess I'll find out. Uh, I forgot this one like. It's like, how did I forget this one is really what I should be saying. It's like, <laughs> I, I, I land on it, I was like, oh god, right, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it landed on me, and I, I can't be too upset. I think my list is funny, it just does not function, I don't think. Just because the <laughs> archetype does not function. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does function is the greatest code, the Cyber Dragon. Of course. <laughs> I get a play. I can't. This is the closest I'll ever get to playing Cyber Dragon on this show, and I'm okay with it. And it, it's of, of all the cards, it would it would be Toon Cyber Dragon that kills my steamroll. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about it. <laughs> yep, steamrolls. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> It's close enough to anime. Just... I am the worst OK OTK deck in the planet. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I have to do math here. Do I win? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. We... Okay, let's go for it. Let's start. Normal summon Patroid. Uh. Sure. I will look at your face down. It's a Toon Briefcase. You should have used it on the Patroid. Really? Creature Swap. Doesn't target. Hey, that's a problem. Uh, yeah. That's a problem. I thought about shotgunning, but I was going to wait for what I assume was an Exo Deck monster, and that apparently was not correct. Monster Reborn. The fuck? Okay. Speedroid. Sure. Die? Um. <laughs> um. The the Toon Cyber Dragon's an 84 by itself. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you sure got yes! it. <laughs> oh my god. I, <laughs> oh my god, it was very unexpected. Uh, the, uh, it had to be Toon Cyber Dragon, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Was... Holy shit, I am shaking. <laughs> <laughs> my opening was. Uh, Steamroid, Monster Reborn, Double Limiter Removal, Patroid. <laughs> and Drew the Creature Swap. Oh my god. Uh, it's like I the one tune monster. First again? Yeah. <laughs> like the one tune monster doesn't need tune wall to attack too. Every fusion is like specific names. <laughs> yeah. You can't King of Swap in this format. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I don't think tunes can OTK. Uh, Unless you can. In that case, you got me. <laughs> I know they can in Duel Links. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll activate Toon Kingdom again. You know, for a deck having like 15 different searches, I'm not drawing any of them. Oof. Uh, Trust guess... me, I wanted to set a monster, but setting both of these would be the worst thing I could possibly do. Somehow. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'll no, summon. killed by my own harpy lady. <laughs> <laughs> all the other monsters from all the other archetypes are coming back. Actually, yeah, I don't think we have Archfiend on the wheel. That should probably be on the wheel if we don't. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I was just thinking about Toon Summon Skull. I was like, wait a minute. Anyways, anyways. That does not unbrick my hand. <laughs> like to hear that. That does... Nothing. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, if you're going to be attacking me directly anyways, might as well try and race you <laughs> <laughs> by doing the same. Sure. Uh, I'll attack directly. <laughs> Take 800. And phase, they'll move to defense. Yep. <laughs> The worst thing is, Submarine Roid has to a direct attack with its original attack, so I can't even, like, limit or removal with it. <laughs> we'll set a card. And let's attack directly. Yep. And... Have you ever read the, uh, Vehicroid Counter Trap? It's pretty nuts. <laughs> I don't think I don't... so, actually. Like... I was putting my deck together and then I read it, I was like, what the hell? I didn't know Yu-Gi-Oh had an effect like this. <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's a like it not it's a negate for any type it's a spell trap or a monster effect negate. Yeah. But it also then sends every other copy of that card in the deck or hand to the graveyard. It's like a surgical almost. <laughs> <laughs> the heck? Yeah, I was like I, I was like, I didn't know they've done that in Yu-Gi-Oh. That, that doesn't seem like it's allowed. Why do Vehicroids have this? <laughs> I just like they just give all like the broken like counter traps the archetypes no one plays because it's awful. Like, yeah, fuck it. Just let them have it. Why not? It's not going to do anything. <laughs> uh, I'm going to normal summon Jetroid, the worst Makira the Destructor to ever exist. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. And, uh... We'll be very thankful that we got a pack card. Because <laughs> I'll make 101. Okay, um... I assume you have something for that, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you Yeah, I'll put it in the briefcase. Yeah. Do the mats go to graveyard or do they get shuffled too? I don't uh, know. The, the materials go to the grave. They basically don't exist. Okay. It's on an XZ monster. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> like I said, I'll either pop the fuck off or I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just so shocked that Ethan popped off once. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yes, I will tribute to my buy magician of faith. You are pretty useless. To tribute the Toon Dark Magician, will activate effect, ah. and I'll discard a Cyber Dragon to special summon a Toon Monster from my deck. 
special summon the Toon Black Dragon. Oh lord, am I dead? I'm probably dead, aren't I? Uh... You're close. So you're like a couple hundred off? So this should let me do this then. According to Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 subreddit. And if they're wrong, then they're wrong. So activate <laughs> it to special summon the Toon Black Luster Soldier from my hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm mega dead. <laughs> and then, uh, tone, Tune's gonna need OTK. If this all... Actually... Yep, you're... I will... Oh, no, you had 24. Oh. I've... I didn't realize you had 54. Yeah, you are Yes. Dead. <laughs> Very dead. Uh... Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. All right. Stand by main. Begin with the boy. Uh huh. And now I get to play this pack card for the first time. I love this card. I'm going to activate the summon dice. Oh boy. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Come on, five or six. No. Uh. Huh. I actually can't normal summon, so, uh. Oops. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I guess he really did roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame. Uh, okay. I think that's fine though. We can we can make this work. Uh, I don't think they have any big butts on void monsters. Nope. Same as last time. <laughs> All right. Very similar opening. Actually, wait. I can't kill that. I just realized I can't attack the turn two type of dragon is summoned. Oh, okay. Uh, one second. Cheated. This is so sad. I have all but one of the fusion materials for one of them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, God, it's the names that are just so taxing <laughs> in this deck. Because, like, this hand is, like, it has potential to do fun things if I just change out one of these names for a different name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Back when I tried to make fusions balanced. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Just put any monsters together. It'll work. Normal summon Stealthroid. Okay. Battle phase. I will attack over Toon Cyber Dragon. Okay, so you gain 500, 223. I'll take 200. And then I will attack with Stealthroid, which means... During the end of the battle phase, I can destroy one spell or trap card. But only at the end of the battle phase, if I control <laughs> another roid monster. <laughs> you fool, you gave me the summon dice back. <laughs> and end of battle phase, I will pop that... My bad counter trap. <laughs> uh, main phase two... We will... Hope that you can't murder me to death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this kind of helps. Okay, I'll start with the tune page flip. Oh boy! I will not. I don't have tune world. Never mind. <laughs> Shit! Why is oh everything tune world? <laughs> Uh, uh, game three is where reality hits for both of us. Like, oh no, we are playing terrible decks. <laughs> <laughs> I cheated in two games and now I'm realizing, wait, this deck's awful when you can't cheat. No wonder why Pegasus <laughs> did it. Uh, shit. <laughs> well, hey, it's in character then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my life literally depends on this summon dice. Oh, I also cheated last one. I have to pay a thousand to use it. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't end. <laughs> All right, here we go. Anything but one or two, I'm still in it. Okay, okay. There you okay. go. So we'll bring back the Cyber Dragon. Mm -hmm. We will tribute and then tribute Red Ice Toon Dragon. Special summon the Toon Black Luster Soldier. Mm -hmm. And then I don't control Toon World, so I'll go to combat. <laughs> And I'll attack Steamboy for a lot. Yeah, he's a 13, so I'll take 20, I'll take 17, right? That sounds correct. Uh, that will be the turn. I can attack. Well, I Wait. draw a card that's... Oh, yeah. Wait, 
I can actually attack this turn. I didn't shield it this time. I'm learning. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I got worried. I was like, oh, did I do it again? No shot. I am what? I. So there's a, a big dumb fuck you Viacroid named Stealth Union. Okay. I've, I, I'm one away. One away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I haven't found any of the searchers, or... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maddening. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely have time to find it. Yeah, it's just... Uh, let me think. Instead of playing the Toon Pot of Greed Trap card. Hold on. Can I do it to you again? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Oh, Hi. Well, <laughs> that is gonna happen. Uh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> that so, card go burst sometimes. So you don't want the red ice dune dragon? Does that one need Tomb World to attack? <laughs> no, it's 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 great. Trust me. <laughs> Just don't read the first sentence on it. Uh, wham. Actually, no, I should do that with Steamroid, but whatever, it doesn't matter, I think. Uh, uh am I dead? You no. might not be, because I should have attacked with Steamroid into the monster, but... Cause I think the damage the would... For... I think the damage would still be the same. Oh, never mind, because it attacks with the opponent's monster, I see. Yeah. So it's only 18. Actually, no, I'd be 100 off anyways. Okay. <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay. Saved. Okay, I think only one card saves me here. That is most certainly not it. Uh, well. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Beaten uh, by my own. <laughs> I really <laughs> lost the tunes more than I lost the roids, quite frankly. <laughs> you lost the creature swap tunes, yes. <laughs> Oh, wow. How do they not draw a single searcher? They have so many. Uh, I also never drew any of my searchers because it's so weird. Because it's not a vehicle, but it's a vehicroid searcher. <laughs> but it's it's a dragon. It's just dragonroid, <laughs> and it's, you just pitch it and this and you get the search. <laughs> Would have loved to find that. That's a really fun. I've never and also, a Mergeroid call needs me to have a fusion monster to actually activate it, which is the <laughs> downside to it being so crazy. And I was always, I, I was one off from Steam Gyroid, I was one off from Pear Psychroid, I was one off from Super Vehicle J J Jumbo Drill, I was one off from, I was literally one off from all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that game one was like, I can die happy. That was, <laughs> that's why I like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! For the one in a million games like that, where it's like, oh, this terrible deck did the thing. It has, <laughs> like, that scuffed hand was exactly perfect for your open somehow. <laughs> <laughs> somehow. I mean, I feel like there was nothing I could have done against double creature to swap and triple, like, all the limit of a move. I was, I was, I was uh... dead from the start. I... Cyrus Truesdale's just too good. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I like first started getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I bought like it was like the legendary dragon decks where I play Cyber Dragons, and I saw someone dice, I'm like, oh my god, this card's broken. It's gotta go in everything. <laughs> uh, I have a soft spot for this card as shitty as it is. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that was episode twenty-one. Uh, I don't even know how to outro this. I I'm I'm at, I'm <laughs> flabbergasted. I'm I'm dis I'm I am... I am destroyed. Everyone, remember that you too can remove your limits and double your attack. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a good one, everybody.